Our final report tonight is about restoring the gift of sight. The government is currently reviewing clinical trials on a new technique which for the first time allows people who have gone blind to regain some of their vision. It is definitely medicine on the cutting edge. And here's ABC's Brian Rooney. There's the door frame. This doesn't look great, but it's a vision of wonder for a patient who can't see anything. It's bionic sight using a miniature camera on a pair of glasses that send images to tiny electronic chips inside the eye. The cable would come in on the outside of the eye and then go in through a tiny slit into the eye. Researchers have put these chips in the eyes of two blind patients. Do you see anything in the light up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What they've been able to see so far is just 16 pixels, 16 dots of light like light bulbs in a scoreboard. If scientists can find a way to increase the resolution to a thousand pixels, it would look like this. A face becomes recognizable. That's a usable image for somebody who hasn't been able to see anything. That's oh, oh boy, is it ever. It's roughly the quality of a poor television picture with a one second delay. You're on my left. We took an experimental walk with one of the device's creators, Dr. Eugene Dewan. Is there something on the wall behind you? Some picture or writing or? This writing, yes. M. A R Y Mary D. I can see the period. Now I see a door frame down there. I can't tell how far away it is. But there's one, there's a door frame right here. Yes. You want to make a right turn? Yeah. I think there's bookshelves over there. That's right. And are there two people sitting down? Yeah. Yeah. And then he just looked at me. This artificial vision is designed for people who had sight and lost it to deterioration of the retina. Their brains are accustomed to seeing and even have the ability to fill in a sketchy picture. Researchers hope it will allow a blind person to do simple things. Pouring water into a cup, sitting at a table, being able to see your plate, your fork and knife, those sort of things are really, uh, really important. The device is years from practical use, but researchers say they now have artificial eyesight in view. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles.